50 years ago today, this EF5 tornado destroyed part of Xenia. More than 30 people died. WHIO weatherman Gil Whitney broke into programming to warn people in the city to take cover. Mr. Weather Radar now shows a tornado developing in northeastern Warren County. To this day, people in Xenia say Gil Whitney saved lives. They also told me April 3rd, 1974 is a day they will never forget. It was a week before my 10th birthday. Melissa Caserta is talking about April 3rd, 1974. She was at home in Xenia. I heard this kid outside, he was screaming. And I looked out the window and he was running down the street and he was pointing the other way and he was yelling tornado, tornado. So I went to my parents' bedroom and looked out the window and there it was and it was huge. Melissa, her mom, dad and dog took cover from the twister in the lowest level of their house, but it found them. It picked up my mom and me and threw us across the room and like we slammed onto the floor. It was really violent. I could hear glass breaking and wood splitting, carpet ripping. I could hear the roots from the tree outside being ripped out of the ground. I could hear people screaming. And um, I landed in the doorway and then my mom landed on me and she was holding onto the door frame. And the basement wall caved in on us and we both got hurt pretty bad. They carried us out the basement windows on doors. They used doors as like stretchers. At the same time, Melissa Caserta and her family were riding out hell in their house. As soon as we heard Gil Whitney say, you know, you I mean, he was in the studio and he said, if you live in Xenia, take cover immediately. This storm is severe, a massive storm. Now retired Xenia Fire Lieutenant Daryl Doyle was hiding in a closet with his family. They had her, me, Doug, and a 100 pound Irish setter. The tornado missed the Doyle's house. Well, I give her a hug and a kiss and away I went. And Daryl left for work. He would not see his family much the next few weeks. Went to station two and it was chaotic. We were putting people in the bedroom. We were going back in the bedroom and putting people on the beds, unconscious, conscious, bleeding, anything and everything we could do. In the truck or a uh, station wagon, anything at all that could take a mattress, we would put the mattress in the vehicle and send the person to the hospital in Dayton because he couldn't get to Green. The Ohio National Guard locked Xenia down. They opened it up after two weeks and just all hell broke loose. It was just traffic jam. You couldn't go down Main Street. You couldn't go down Second. You couldn't go down any street that it was a traffic jam. People coming to see sightseers. It was unreal. Un you, you just can't imagine. 50 years later, Daryl thinks emergency equipment and response plans across the country are better because of the 1974 Xenia tornado. We learned the hard way, but we learned. But many survivors, like Melissa Caserta. When the wind blows, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good at all. Are still dealing with the trauma of that April day. I was a victim and then I became a survivor. And then as the years went on, I became a warrior because nothing and no one could ever hit me as hard as I was hit that day. And I'm okay, I'm alive. Incredibly powerful stories and our special coverage of the 1974 Xenia tornado continues next half hour. That's when I'll have never before seen home movies from Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and his wife Fran. Now DeWine was working in Xenia when the tornado hit. You'll hear and see their incredible story. That is new for you at 530.